to this week's reading vlog. It is February 10th. I am going back to school today. Am I excited about it? No. No, I'm not. My first class is music class. Am I musically talented in any way? No. No, I'm not. But we have like this huge project where we have to talk about like our musical journey. And my musical journey is literally, I was forced to play the recorder in grade three. Was I good at it? No. And then, in middle school, I played the trumpet. Was I good at it? No. Can I read music? No. So this is gonna suck. And then after my music class from 8 to 11, I have a science class from 11 to 2. They put up like our syllabus last night at 10 o'clock at night and we're supposed to read two articles for the class today. One is five pages, one is 19 pages. They put it up at 10 o'clock. Did I do the readings? No. So today's gonna be interesting, but I'm done school at two today and then I can relax, question mark. But I do have basketball practice at eight o'clock tonight. Hello! Oh my. <laughs> is this a week long vlog? Now it is. Okay. Did you vlog yesterday? Yes. I didn't know that. I because I wasn't in it. Hello. Because I didn't drive you anywhere. I know, but now we're back on our bullshit. We quality are back to our quality car content QC. <laughs> See? See? I was like, what does content start with? I'm gonna be a teacher. Um, I don't wanna go. How do you feel about this? I don't have an either way. I'm miserable. How do you feel about that? I'm concerned. Yeah, you should be. I love my non-job. <laughs> it's now like almost six o'clock on Monday. I got home around 2.30, but I've just been doing like homework. I'll show you what my homework is. It's the stupidest thing. It's for music. And it's totally not music homework. It's art homework. I'll show you what I mean in a second. But I figured I'd update you guys on what I'm reading for the week. I just finished A Treason of Thorns by Laura E. Weymouth because I've been listening to the audiobook while I'm doing my music slash art homework. But I'm giving it a three out of five stars. If you guys watched my reading vlog from last week, I talked about it. It's basically about this like magic house who this girl has to try to find a key in order to unbind the house from the king and if you don't have the key it like basically kills you and it's like the story of her trying to find this key but three out of five stars super duper boring but like i liked the concept of it I, like i think that it was cool but it just was executed like kind of shittily then i started well i literally like just started it like two seconds ago and then decided that i should probably you know talk to y'all about what it is. It is Snow and Rose by Emily Winfield Martin, but basically it's a story about these two little girls who are living in a fairy tale, but they don't know that they're living in a fairy tale, but it's kind of cool because it's got like pictures throughout it. Although I'm listening to it on audiobook, so I've kind of just been flipping through it to look at the pictures since... You know, you can't really look at pictures while listening to the audiobook. But yeah, I'm only 30 pages in, so like barely made any dent in it whatsoever. But so far, it's like pretty cute. It's about the two girls' dad died, and now they like have to move to a cottage in the woods, and they're like bitter about it because like their whole family was like uprooted and blah blah blah. But yeah, 30 pages in, so can't really say much about it but y'all want to see my music slash art homework so basically i'm supposed to show my musical journey through this lovely thing so basically that's me and then i listen to like anything that i can dance to whatever's on the radio and like i usually go for like pop genre i used to play the trumpet used to play the recorder literally know nothing about music. I wanted to play the flute, but I had braces, so no flute happened. I like musicals. I'm from Canada. Uh, I was in band. John Bellion is my angel baby unicorn. Taylor Swift was my first concert. Walt Disney World was a positive music experience for me because I 
got pulled into like one of their parades and it was like super cool because I was like six and it was like awesome you know and then as a teacher I want to be very hands-on because I feel like hands-on experiences are a lot better than just like lecturing to your students and then I was influenced by my mommy and my daddy and that's me and they're chucking me across the (laughs) room so yeah that is my musical experiences art not music art stupid 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 this is what teachers college is people a lot of nothing now today i just got back from class it is 5 47 p.m i'm just making dinner which is stuffed mushroom caps and i'm really excited about it because these are the things we get excited about when we're adults stuffed mushroom caps but figured i would update what i'm reading still snow and rose i'm now 116 pages in It's a middle grade book. I don't think I mentioned that before, so it's like flying by. It's okay. I mean, like, for what it is, it's entertaining. I'm probably gonna give it like a 2.53. I haven't really decided yet. It's, I don't know, I'm just not like loving it. It's good, but it's not like real good, you know what I mean? But it's basically like a bunch of short stories about these two little girls who live in a fairy tale. They don't know they live in a fairy tale. Their father goes missing. And then it's like the stories in between him coming back and there's like all the people that they've met along the way in the woods. And like, yeah, like I said, it's like fine, but it's nothing like, woo, I need to read this book like a thousand times and to my children and blah, blah, blah. That's the update on that. I mean, technically should probably do some schoolwork reading tonight. I technically should read my textbook you know, about special education in Ontario schools, but I don't want to do that. So in my spec ed class, like we have to decide whether we want to take like the assignments pathway or the experiential pathway. And if we pick the experiential pathway, we get to work with a child who has exceptionalities in a school. Like I would love to do that, but like I've been working with kids with special needs for eight years now. So it's nothing like new to me. I think it would be great for people who have never experienced that side of education before, but me personally, I've done it for eight years, so I'm not like excited about it anymore like other people are. And I don't want to be a special education teacher, like I want to be a gym teacher, so to me, I'm like, why would I spend all this time doing that assignment when I could literally just do like a couple assignments that will take me like maybe an hour. So I still haven't decided and like, (laughs) The prof is like the sweetest little old man in the entire world and he just like framed it to basically be like you should pick the experiential pathway but like it won't be negative on your mark if you don't but like you really should and I'm just like sitting there like less I don't want to I just want to do assignments and everybody in the class has picked experiential so far on the like sign up sheet and I'm like the only one who picked the assignments pathway because I just like I don't I don't want to do it because I've done it for eight years. It's nothing new. So I'm trying to convince my other friend to pick the assignment pathway with me so that I'm not like by myself alone. But the convincing is not 100% yet. She's like 90% sure that she'll pick assignments with me, but we'll see. It's Wednesday. I don't have class today, so I'm super excited. I get to just like chill and do nothing. Technically, should do some homework. Am I going to? No, because next week is also family day, which means no school for me all next week until Friday. But whatever, I'm so excited. So I ain't doing shit today. But I finished Snow and Rose last night. I was kind of iffy on if I was going to give it a 2.5 or a 3, but the ending definitely like solidified that 3 rating for me. So, but still nothing like over the top. Oh my god, it was like a really, really good book. But I started a really good book. I started Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, and I'm obsessed. Henry and Alex are just like the cutest little baby angel unicorns, and like I love them so much together. Like I'm 200 and four-ish pages in and I just like want to fly through it because I just like can't get enough of these two. I feel like everybody and their mother except for me has read this book and loved it so it finally came in audiobook on my library so I was like must be the next book I listen to. If you're new to like Red, White, and Royal Blue, which I'm sure you're not, 
It's basically an enemies to lovers between the Prince of England and the son of the President of the United States. And it's just like so funny and witty and the banter between them is just so great and I'm like obsessed with them already. So I definitely think that this is going to be a 5 out of 5 star read for me. But I'm going to go listen some more and make some lunch because it's like 12 o'clock right now and I still haven't eaten. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Just listen to this all day and hopefully be done it. And I'll update you guys eventually. I also have basketball tonight at 8. So maybe I'll get this done by 8. We'll see and then... Just told them your address? No. Right there? No. Oh, you don't want this. Mm. It's from Macmillan. Did you know that was coming? Uh, yeah. But I didn't know it was coming today. It's a graphic novel. I like hardcover graphic novels. Mm -hmm. not, not, not that I read them. I just, I like, they, to me they just look better. That'll take you a minute. <laughs> okay. It's Thursday now. There's a snowstorm outside. I don't have school today, so plan is to read a lot again today. I do have to go to Costco with my mom to pick up some food in case the snow gets way worse. But I finished Red, White, and Royal Blue last night, and I loved it. Five out of five stars. I totally get the hype now. Like, I love Alex and Henry, like I said previously. Like, they are just so witty and funny, and I just, like adore them together so i like honestly want another book i know that it's a standalone but like can we have another one like maybe a spin-off with like other characters i'm just saying i i'm i'm into it I'm, i want it and i'm sure a lot of other people want it so casey come on after i finished that i started listening to king of crows by libba bray the fourth book in the diviner series i have it getting sent to my house very shortly so i don't actually have it like a physical copy yet very excited about it i'm like on part six of 21 so like at least six hours into it already and I just like love it so much already I just love the characters I love the whole atmosphere of the Diviner series I just think it's so like spooky and just like I'm obsessed with that series one of my favorite series so I'm very sad that it's going to be over but very excited to see where the story goes um I just filmed an unhaul video all the books are over there haha <laughs> see i'm figuring out this pointing thing but i have to go bring those to the thrift store and then yeah that's pretty much like the only plans for today i'm just gonna listen to more king of crows i should do homework i say this every single day but i have all next week off so like i really don't feel like i need to start it until like the weekend and i'm working friday saturday sunday so like i have those three days to do it so feel no need to do it right now so i'm not going to but i'm gonna go listen to more king of crows because i'm obsessed it's Valentine's Day. I don't like Valentine's Day. I think it's a dumb holiday. But for the people who do like it, happy Valentine's Day. Um, it's Friday. I have school, social studies, history, geography from 12 to 2 today. It's like 9.30. So I'm just kind of chilling, waiting for that. And then I'm going to work from 3.15 to 10.15. So pretty much my entire day is just school and work which is like fine because I didn't have anything to do tonight anyways because I don't got a bay on Valentine's Day which is probably why I'm bitter you know even when I did have a bay on Valentine's Day I still don't like it I think it's like a super like consumerism holiday like I don't see the point of it like you shouldn't need a day to show your significant other that you love them and blah 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 so that's just my opinion on that but I figured I'd update you guys on what I read last night I am now on part 16 of 21 of the King of Crows the fourth diviner book I love it so much like I obviously can't talk that much about it because like spoilers it's the last book in the series but I'm really digging all the character development and like where the story's going I have like my theories of what's gonna happen next but I'm really excited to finish it probably won't finish it today unless like I listen to it from like now till class but even then I'll probably still only get to like part 19 like each part is like an hour and a bit long so probably won't be finishing that today hopefully by tomorrow or sunday though it'll be done i was thinking of filming something but i honestly have no idea what to film today i just like i'm out of creative ideas because i'm not a creative person you know so 
life is rough leave a comment down below of like some videos you'd want to see from me and i'll do them because i have no ideas so yeah hi <laughs> welcome to i was gonna say vlogmas but it's not it's vlogmas it's february yeah it is still valentine's day still have don't have a bay you've been complaining bitterly i have not been complaining bitterly all i said was that it's a stupid holiday because you shouldn't need a day to show your significant other that you love them it's funny because curtis and i had that same it's conversation stupid that if your significant other can't acknowledge their their feelings for you the other 364 days kick them to the curb uh, no but but well if, yes <laughs> If you I mean, no. if you are suckered into spending fifty dollars for a dozen roses and chocolates and going to dinner where they double the price of it, and this it is why make sense. you should celebrate Valentine's Day on the fifteenth because fifty percent off day, and then the the restaurants go back to the normal yeah, price it's great. and yeah, and it's too much pressure. Oh, I think that women and, and this is a huge stereotype i think that women put so much pressure on their men to create the perfect situation for them for what they think valentine should be and if they don't get it right then then they're they're made to feel the men are made to feel guilty or and i it's just, i don't think i've ever actually had like a real valentine where like they go all out because i'm like i don't you care you got a <laughs> kick-ass lion yeah, that was in high school. Yeah. But, like, honestly, I'm one of those girls where I'm like, I don't care. So, like, we so, don't have to celebrate it. And yeah. clearly I'm going to work on Valentine's Day, so it's not <laughs> like it matters. The guy whose shift I'm taking, like, made such a big deal. He's like, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Like, is it okay if you cover it? And I'm like, bitch, I don't got a boyfriend. It's fine. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I remember there was one year that I stood out the freezing cold and it was snowing. And I, bore, I, I barbecued steaks. That's a lot of effort and, in which and, I will never put that much I effort. And then I said... I'm not doing that again. <laughs> it's your one time. <laughs> My grand one time gesture. of going all out. Yeah, no. And I mean, it was appreciated, but no. I just don't have that effort. So it's good to be working on Valentine's Day. Not that I have anybody to be with, but still. Mom, you're my Valentine. I'll be your Valentine, baby. Yay.